Just to bring you an update from Cape Town now. Uh, in the background there's police sirens at this stage. And I just came past the R300 turn off and it's been closed off again. We could see the black smoke billowing in the distance. So it looks like the R300 that they, there's burning off tires and barricading. So the police had actually and the traffic police had blocked off the entrance to the R300 from uh, the Kales River Arterial and I would advise anyone to stay off of there there's thick black smoke billowing in the background and it's probably going to continue for some time so these events have nothing to do with Gatvol Capetonians it's got to do with people just getting fed up with situations in their area and at this stage I'm trying to find out if it's orchestrated by specific people but this is happening every single day across Cape Town at the moment and at some stage something has to give so this is not I believe at this stage controlled by any specific organization these are people that are suffering on the ground the lockdown conditions and everything that this government is, is asking of the people it's getting to a point where the people can't handle it anymore they are at their wits end and they are taking to the streets and they are doing whatever they think is necessary to get government's attention at this stage and whether it's working or not is debatable but the one thing that I do know is that people are at a knife's edge down in Cape Town and this is never a good thing because that's when you start doing irrational things uh, that's when you start doing things that doesn't help our cause in the country and it doesn't help ever to do anything that is violent that's stopping any other citizen from doing what they need to do and taking their rights away, of movement away so i'm i am concerned about this i will keep you updated i will be leaving cape town on friday and we'll be traveling to gauteng i will reach there next week friday i've got the whole trip planned out i'm not going to uh, put out the details on a public forum at this stage but um I just hope that things can calm down in Cape Town and that our government can come to their senses and that what they would actually do is allow for us to elect a new government where we can elect our leaders, where we can vote for the president, where we can vote for the premier, where we can vote for the mayor, parliament, provincial parliament and uh, the councils remain the same. There's nothing strange about this except that we make our cross behind a person instead of a party. and. This is one way that many people will be able to feel more in control of who they vote for. It'll be a better form of democracy and it's not a complicated thing that we're asking for. And I know that many people in Cape Town stand behind this and as this movement and idea grows, hopefully this will be a better way than the violence we're seeing on the ground right now for people to actually express how they feel and for this country to have a peaceful transition to something better than we have currently. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications on the videos. And thank you for watching.